Well, this is traditionally an important conference matchup. What were some of your experiences in these type of games, Brent? I well, spent a lot of time in the Western Conference, BA. Obviously, a bunch of good rivalries, but back then, you usually had to go through the Lakers to get where you wanted to be. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one. Not sure how he saw that there. Holiday with a firm understanding how to get the ball to an open teammate. Here's Billups. He's covered by Holiday. Wallace. Nice persistence to tip it back in. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. Outside, Brown. Pass to Porzingis. On the wing, Tatum. The nine-footers on the mark. Tatum's got his second basket of the game. And granted, a deal that came down to the wire this summer. The Celtics got their man. Chris stopped Porzingis. Oh, yes, they did, B.A. As tough as it was to give up Marcus Smart for Boston, a chance to balance their roster and acquire a two-way tower in his prime. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out or he'll destroy you. White for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Almost two minutes into the first here. Phillips. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. Holiday passes to Brown. Takes off strong, D, and gets to the bucket for two points. And they can't miss four for four and warming up the burners. Prince against Brown. Unloads. Prince can't hit. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A., to have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other. That's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Well, Brent, when you look at the Detroit Pistons, a team that has really struggled recently. Well, that's what youth will do for you. It's really hard to win in this league, and these young guys are learning how to get out and compete on a nightly basis. They are searching for an identity. Hopefully, they'll have the health this year to see some of their young talent really take to it and take those strides. Now, here's White. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Pass to Tatum. Clock at six. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Here's Wallace. Pass to Prince. Over to the wing. Here's Billups. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Wallace. Off target from outside. And it's Holiday with a ball for Boston. Leading by five. Tatum passes to Holiday. 144 left in the opening quarter. And it's Tatum missing. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Outside White, pass to Brown. And we've got 118 left in the first quarter. Boston again missing. Detroit has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Billups. Here's Wallace. He's covered by Holiday. From the elbow. 
some solid defense from Holiday. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment, goes straight to the rim. Pass to Billups. And it looks like an illegal pick was set against the ref's attention. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. Williamson's checked in for the Pistons. And the Celtics also making a change. Pritchard's checked in. He got a piece of it. Prince against Brown. Prince down low. Nice D from Tatum. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Yep, count it. They're getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Here's Billups. He's scoreless. And it's in there. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Tatum. That one, no good. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. Doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Celtics up five. Stay with us now. Tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat wise? Oh, what a first quarter. You love their willingness to make the extra pass. Now, so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. Here's Hauser. And it's blocked. And for Boston. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. Derek White out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Hauser in at the three. Small forward. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Outside White. Pass to Hauser. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Such an effective shooter. If you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Turn around, Jamie. Here's Wallace. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. And Boston calls time here. Last time they met in Boston. I love the defensive pressure they created in their last meeting. Forcing turnovers and keeping the offense off kilter. The turnover margin was well within their favor. And you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Pass to Hauser. During your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just, it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, a new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. Here's Hamilton, defended by Porzingis. Pass to Wallace. Over White. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. He looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. The 2K leaderboard highlighting last season's assist leader. Number one, Jason Tatum. Al Horford is second. You got to give credit to how both of these guys see the floor. They're all about moving the rock and trying to set their guys up. This is why their teammates love playing with them. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Hauser can't get it to go. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Talk 
talking about the Detroit Pistons. This is a team that has lacked star power recently, Brett. Right? Well, they've drafted some guys that are still hoping to be potential stars in the league. The NBA, there might be a couple guys on that roster right now that can do that. But front office is trying to find somebody where they can put a stake in the ground and say, this is our star, and this is who we're moving forward with. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and ask what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that's been the key. Thanks, Allen. Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown. Four on the clock. Three-pointer, Holiday. Connects from downtown. Holiday. Holiday's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket Two of the game. Two minutes remaining in the front half. Two minutes. One fifty-six left in the first half. Pass to Wallace. Boston with a rebound. Orford outside. Here's Brown. He's off on the layup. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Here's Wallace, drops it in from 14 feet away. And he knows he can make this shot. I mean, clearly there's no indecision for him from there. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. Outside White. From the line. Rebound Detroit. Prince has got his fifth rebound in this one. To the middle. Here's Wallace. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Tatum, he's checked in for Horford. Had a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. You know, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Austin again missing. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Pass to Hamilton. And it's going to be a three-second three. call. three-second violation. Celtics ball. Tatum with a ball for Boston. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Here's White. Wallace pulls it in. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. Pass to Billups. there to take the lead but a miss that's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensive tie game in detroit and time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2k sports it's the 2k sports halftime show it was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. They did give up a couple baskets. Thanks for joining. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boston's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Holiday passes to Brown. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Brown's got his second basket of the night. Even when Brown's shooting quickly, he's not rushing. He takes his time with his release. And for the Celtics, 
White and Brown to the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Christoph Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team just fighting tonight. I mean, he'll just come right back at you, Brown, with all the confidence that he can do it better. Here's Billups. That one goes in. Billups has got seven points. Now that was a clever adjustment. I mean, that was a tough shot. Now, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Outside, Brown. Outside Tatum, four on the clock. From about 19, oh, JT in traffic. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Wallace. Here's Hamilton. This shot is good. 11 points in the game. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's it's a wrap. Porzingis finds Holiday. Back to Porzingis. From 13, the putback. A thunder jam by Porzingis. They're on fire right now, shooting 80% to start the second half. Here's Billups. He has seven. Here's Prince. And Detroit again with the bucket. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Shoots. Tatum with another miss. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Wallace misses. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game, Brian. Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Here's Prince. Second chance effort. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis picks one up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the first one at the line is good. We'll bring something that can get overlooked. How a player fits in on a team can make all the difference. Well, that fit BA depends on where your team is in, in the arc of your competitiveness. So if you need one guy to put you over the top and you're a team winning 50 games, time out, time then you've out. got to get the right fit. Otherwise, many teams and rosters are exploring talent, developing talent, until they get to that point where fit becomes the foundation for what they're going to do for something special. And the Celtics call time here. Let's look at the top rebounders from last season. Al Horford is second, fourth, Drew Holiday. These two were a consistent presence around the rim, able to anticipate where the ball was going and just gobbling up the boards. There's a minute 47 left in the third quarter. Hauser passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Pass to Horford. Shot clock at six. Late clock, the Celtics got to hurry here. Richard, no good. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. As good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. First personal foul. Team second. At the line. And it's tied up with that one. Wallace. The free throw is good. Now leading by one. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for Boston. Horford outside. Pass to 
Pritchard. 105 left to the third. Buries it down low. And the Celtics lead by one. The Pistons have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Outside Hunter. Goes back up. Nifty move. And he lays it in. Wallace has got a second bucket on the night. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Oh, look at Brown. Bang it inside. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Outside Hunter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. 17 seconds left in the third. Now here's Brown. He's got 10. Just five to shoot. Pass to Pritchard. Pulls it in from the elbow. Good. And Brown gets the assist. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Celtics out in front. Up by one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And the winner today, coming from an unlikely position, it's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Here's Phillips. Drains the triple. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Boston trailer. And for Boston, the star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Brown finds Horford. And here's Porzingis. Outside, Brown. Fires the three, and they force a shot clock violation. Great D. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. Here's Billups. There's the three. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And for Boston, Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Drew Holiday out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Porzingis in at the five. Here's Billups. He's covered by Holiday. Wallace, the pass to Prince from the low block. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Now here's Holiday. Tight defense on him. Second shot opportunity. Porzingis misses. Detroit has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Wallace. Hounded by Tatum. Wallace's shot is good. And the Pistons lead by two. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And it's Tatum missing. The Pistons have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Wallace misses. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Porzingis. Again, the miss by the Celtics. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Here's Billups. And he drops it in from the low post. Billups has got 10 points here in the second half. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. 
Here's Holiday. Two points. That one goes. And really, that is a tremendous shot by Holiday there. His team really has momentum now. And out of bounds. Austin will have it. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. Substitution. Derek White. Quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. They kick it out to Porzingis to take the lead. Two minutes remaining. Phillips for the rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. High arcing shot. Basket counts. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. Here's Tatum. Outside, Brown. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Detroit calls timeout. They're leading by one. 141 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. Coach was urging his team to play strong defense, reminding them no easy hoops. Give effort and help when needed. They do say defense wins championships. Yes. Appreciate the report, Allie. Here's Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. When this team needs a bucket, it naturally looks for Jason Tatum. And he typically comes through. That's to Prince. The three is up. Boston with a rebound. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. As good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Here's Tatum. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. There's Prince. Three-pointer. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. I love seeing that. They're a huge possession, and he nets it. And Boston calls time here. They're down by four. There's 45 seconds left in the final quarter. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Checking in for the Celtics. And so it's Boston with it. Holiday from long range. Wallace pulls it in. And now we've got an intentional foul. Jason, take first personal foul. Here's Billups. First team foul. Pass to Hamilton. And they go to the intentional foul. Derek White, second personal foul. Team second. At the line for your piston. He drops the first one. And that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. And so it's Boston with it. Here's Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. And this guy is made for these moments. Tatum, the big-time shot. Detroit calls timeout. They're on top by four. 26 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Third personal foul. 13 foul. At the line. First free throw is good. And that puts him up five. So both free throws good. And it's a six-point ball game. And Boston calls time here. They're behind by six. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. Here come the team shirts, everybody. Who wants one? I'm just a fan. Watch again. Give it up for your Christmas dancing dance team. Here's Tatum. Prince grabs the miss. 
15 seconds left to play in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven point lead. At the line for Detroit. And so he drops them both. And it's an eight point ball game. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for Boston. Here's Pritchard. Boston, no good that time either. Here's a trade. And so it's Detroit with the W. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that about wraps it up. So alongside Grant Hill, Valley LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you later.